I feel incredibly loyal and responsible to the original show. I have a great kind of desire to even be in the same room as that show because it was a game changer. George and his writing was a huge influence on me. It's an incredible feeling to achieve my dream job. You get that great call, which is the thing that every writer is hoping for, telling you we're gonna go make this thing. And uh, you're happy for a few seconds. And then you realize the responsibility that's on your shoulders. I'm excited. It's always a little apprehensive when you turn your baby over to foster parents, but I'm involved in this. It's great to have Ryan, who's a great writer and someone who really knew my world. He's going to do his best to remain faithful to it. I knew Miguel Sapatrick was an amazing director. He'd won an Emmy, he'd done some of our best episodes. There's always a little suspense to how good is it going to be. But I think I'm in good hands with Ryan and Miguel. The idea of going back to Westeros was almost too much of a challenge. You have to start by respecting it. You can't start by doing different for different sake. He saw some of the things that I saw, and it wasn't just a prequel for prequel's sake. There was actually a reason to tell the story. It really was seeing it through a different perspective that interested me. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. George's work really is a truly immersive world. There's unexplored deep recesses and thousands of years of history. Realizing what worked in Thrones, what didn't. What do we want to better? How do we want to evolve? The biggest sets I've ever been on, the biggest locations I've ever been on, the biggest crews I've ever seen, it's staggering. We do really see the creative world very similarly. We're gonna start just a more grounded, more intimate way. We're gonna go off and go on this great adventure together. What a great new chapter in the Game of Thrones saga.